Stephen, first of all, we're now in the, the jaws of the final. What's the mood in the camp going into this one? Everyone's buzzing for it. Like, um, you can see in our training, there's a good, good buzz about the place in a minute. Uh, we was a bit disappointed last week we couldn't get training because of the weather, but we just can't wait to get, to get it out of the way, get there. There's first of all, in terms of Bangor, once again, this is a big occasion for them. Yeah. Uh, what's the mood in the camp going into this one? Ah, everyone's buzzing, so we are. You can even feel the buzz around the club, the fans and all, just loving it. The minutes are there. Training's good, everything. You'll start this game as underdogs. Obviously, Bangor going very, very well, don't Does that help or does that end into the campaign? Uh, I think it helps. I think it pre there's no pressure on us whatsoever. Um, it's probably been like that every round. My first East Belfast match, Dan says just go in to enjoy it, stick to the game plan, I think, which we've done. So every round we've been underdogs and I think it's worked out right for us. It's been, it's been a great season so far for Bangor. Obviously, I know we're only about halfway in, but yeah, you're doing very, very well in the Premier and Immediate. So you will start as favourites in this particular one? Uh, I would say so, but they got, as I say, they got there to the final, so I have to give them respect and see how we go. Lack of training hasn't helped, of course, with the, the, the frost over the last few weeks. We've missed two matches and two sessions last week, we had to do spin. But we'll be alright. In terms of the opposition, do you know much about them, Mario? I can this one. I don't. I don't know nothing about them. I haven't watched them. I haven't heard anything about them. So fair play to them getting there, though. Yeah, obviously, 24 years since you last won it. It would be a massive thing for them to go on and win this final this year. It would be massive. Yeah, yeah. It would be. I didn't realise how big it was probably until you see semi-final. You look into the crowd and there was people. There was people crying and stuff, and there was people just you know just can't believe it. Just love everyone's hugging you and. Was good. But then this is your second time second, in the scene since uh, coming. You lost the last one, you wanted to put that right this time around. Uh, I, hope, I hope so. As I said, it does it put a stinker on Christmas. <laughs> I only joined the Murray Rack just before Covid hit. Right. Um, I say I only joined just to play with my mates at the seconds, that's all it was about. And then we were struggling, I got in and just kept, kept my place. And who, who, can you, who do you think might be the hero on the day? Have you any particular player might, might uh, sparkle? I uh, hope I can make a holiday, don't they? What a right. man, so he is for the age of him to keep going, like, and just, just love him as a player, to be honest. Been, he's been a good example over the years to all the younger players, ah, hasn't he? He's brilliant. I never knew of him until I joined Banger, and just he just gets the buzz around the place, what he does. And some people have been following that club for a long, long time. It'll mean an awful lot to them to get to this final. Yeah, and you, see, you can see it in the club. I'll be close to a lot of the club ones now, the Ivor Moore and stuff, and, and you, just, you can see it in their faces. It's good. In terms of Bangor as a club, what would it mean to actually win this trophy? Ah, oh, big. So if it, it would start us off well for the league as well for the end of the season. And then hopefully it's the last time we win it, because the club's looking to go up. Delighted it's on Christmas Eve this year. I don't know if she'd let me play if it was Christmas Day. <laughs>